Base Fay has won every game in the Eredivisie so far, all while playing highly entertaining football. And a large part of the credit has to go to the tactical brilliance of Peter Bos. I'm going to show you his 6 main principles for playing football, as well as 2 example tactics to show you how to translate this into Football Manager, so we can play some very exciting football. Let's start off with how Peter Bos looks at football in general. While he recognizes that results matter, Bos believes that in its essence, football is all about entertaining the supporters, who pay the high price for either tickets or TV subscriptions. So no matter if he's managing relegation candidates like Heracles Almelo, or big timers like Olympique Lyon and Dortmund, Bos will always look to play highly attractive football. He'll always want to have as much time on the ball, give the players the freedom to express themselves with dribbles or risky passes, and get as many goals as possible, to guarantee a good time in the stadium. Secondly, to make sure that his players are able to entertain the crowds, Boss will always play to his own strengths, no matter the opponent. The best example of this is the Feyenoord Pace Fey game in the league this season. Feyenoord are one of the best attacking teams in the Eredivisie this season, and they apply constant pressure on the defense and midfield of the opponent to make sure that they can't get into their game. While the obvious solution would be to sit back and play more defensively in a tricky away match like this, Boss recognized that especially one of our central defenders would struggle with Feyenoord's pressure, and Pace Fey's strengths lie in dominating the ball. So he decided to go for the risky play, replacing that centre back with one of the central midfielders who hadn't played that much there before, and going all out on trying to play out of the pressure and dominating the ball. And you know what? It worked perfectly, letting Pace Fay dominate the match, neutralize a lot of Feyenoord threats, and giving them a 2-1 away win. Which just goes to show how powerful playing to your own strengths, even against the odds, can really be. To make sure that he can truly play to his players' strengths, Boss always looks to adapt his formations to his current team. So whilst playstyle remains largely the same, Boss has used plenty of formations across his managerial career. He can even switch formations on a game-by-game -game basis, always keeping a fluid perspective on what suits his players best for each situation. But no matter what formation he uses, his players won't be staying in those positions for long. Boss has always been inspired by the total football principles of Cruyff and Barcelona, wanting his players to constantly create dynamic movements and switch places with each other. A wingback who overlaps a winger who cuts inside, an attacking midfielder who runs behind the striker to get into the box, a fullback that tucks inside to become an extra central defender, Boss loves it all as he can put his players into the positions where they're most effective, further helping them to play to their own strengths. But to be able to play like this and dominate a match, you have to possess the ball as much as possible, which makes it essential to get the ball back quickly if you end up losing it. For this purpose, Boss enforces a 5 second rule on his players. He demands of his players that whenever they lose the ball, they get it back within 5 seconds. So crucial to any Boss tactic is to have hardworking, determined players applying constant counter pressure on their opponents, raising the tempo of the match and its entertainment value. And even if they don't immediately win the ball back, a Boss tactic will never sit back and relax. As he is focused on attacking football and getting a lot of goals, you want to get the ball back as close to the opposition's goal as possible. So a boss tactic will always have a high defensive line, forcing the play to stay in the opposition's half and putting constant pressure on them. Let's summarize these principles. Boss always wants to entertain the crowd, play to his own strengths no matter the opponent, changes his formation to suit his current team, applies dynamic movement to get his players into the spaces where they're most effective, forces a 5 second rule to get the ball back as quickly as possible, and uses a high defensive line to force the play to stay on the opposition's half. Now that we know how Boss plays that entertaining football, let's look at two example tactics to see how we can translate this into Football Manager. The first tactic is a 4-3-3, inspired by his current setup with PSV. We can see that with the roles selected, we've created a ton of dynamic movement all across the pitch. On the left flank, we've got a complete wingback and an inside forward, always looking to create an overlap situation and get into dangerous areas. In the middle, we've got a deep lying forward looking to drop in, help with link up play and take a centre back or two with him, while the centre bit on attack is looking to run in behind him and get into the box. On the right, we've got a winger who's got the freedom to go both on the inside and the outside, and express himself with a lot of dribbles and crosses, while the fullback on the fan gives a bit more defensive security while still putting in crosses from deeper positions. All of this is supported by a roaming playmaker and a ball playing defender who get the freedom to distribute the ball all across the pitch. We'll adopt a positive mentality, playing high tempo expressive football while playing out of defense to really entertain the crowds. To enforce our 5 second rule, we'll be sure to counter press when possession has been lost, while also triggering our press much more often. And since we want to force the play to stay on the opposition's half, we use a higher line of engagement and defensive line to put the pressure on close to the opposition's goal. This all combines into a high tempo, dynamic tactic that's very entertaining to watch. 
But just like Boss, we have to be able to change it up if something else suits our players better. And that's exactly what Tactic 2 does. You'll see that a lot of elements of the second tactic are the same as the first one. Our defensive line consists of the same roles, while our mentality, in possession and in transition instructions remain the same. The big change in this tactic is incorporating a quality playmaker in the attacking midfield position if your team happens to have one. This results in a couple of changes. As our number 10 will now be the player linking a play further up the field, we can ask our striker to stay further forward in a more poaching role. We also lost our midfielder making those runs into the box, so we'll ask our winger to cut it inside more to get into those spaces. We'll also need some more dynamic movement in the midfield now, so we'll change our other two midfield roles to a box-to-box -box and a ball-winning midfielder to create some more movement in central areas. And finally, out of possession will still look to use our high line of engagement and defensive line, but since our number 10 now can give some defensive cover behind the striker, we can push a bit further forward and look to prevent the short goalkeeper distribution. This all exemplifies that while keeping the same footballing principles, you can tweak your formation and setup to suit your players best just like Peter Bos. If you want to get inspired by a different manager, check out this video, where I go through the footballing principles and tactics of another legendary manager. I'll see you on the next video.